Welcome back to an All Signs Aries 3 Pisces Elemental Quickies first. Keep in mind if it's not your story, now let's move on. All right. Aries dealing with another fire sign, Aries Leo or Sag. Source. What do we have for fire signs? Ooh, stubborn. All right. Two more. Two more, please. Ooh. Very nice. All right, this person's interested in dating. They want to cuddle. They want to get to know you better. They want intimacy. So definitely with the idea of long term, they, they're they hoping that you're thinking the same way. Heavy on the Sagittarius. That looks nice. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, two of coin. Two more. Okay. All right, this person considers you to be wish fulfillment. They're taking their sweet ass time coming in with this really nice offer. They're juggling the idea of it. It's like, would this make me happy? I think this makes me happy. Yes, but I'm afraid of being hurt. But ooh, that looks really good. So new dating, def definitely really thinking about it. I don't think they know you that well. This is somebody that needs to get to know you better. But it's about what they want. So pretty typical. We all do that. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. As we should. Okay. This person's got the hots for you. Might be flirting with you. Flirty, flirty, flirty. Okay. Why do we have the King of Swords? They might have a jealous ex <laughs> that doesn't like this idea. Of course. What X does? Yeah, it leaves them disappointed. So you got a jealous X. Could have been very hard to please, but they're not talking to their X. So they are available. They just, you might hear about the fact that they've got an X that's got a big stick up their butt. All right. Let's see what we have for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. Four of Swords. Feels like some bullshit came out about what had happened between the two of you and it made you feel like it was one-sided. There is still passion. However, not talking right now. So they might want to come in, but it's going to be a while. I don't think they like the fact that you made them single, so broke up with them. Anxious, anxious, anxious. Very nervous. There's a reason that you aren't talking to this person. They might not have been fair with you, you know, giving to the relationship the way they should have been. So it's like you're taking a time out and they're very anxious about the fact that you did. They're kind of wondering what the hell you are thinking and they want to come back in and make an offer. All right, we're getting out the peanut. I'm going to change it to the pina colada deck because Island Time Wellness doesn't work for me. All right, Aries, Source. Pina Colada. Pina Colada deck. Uh, what do we got? Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection. All right. Let's see what we have. Aries. Clean deck. Okay. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. For you, we have the Empress. So abundance, good things, and the lots of it. Person most on your mind or in your energetic field more for their thoughts. thoughts this person misses you it can be a cancer scorpio pisces we have the five of cups they might be missing an opportunity if they just sit there and feel sorry for themselves they're feeling like self-pity about what they don't have and the two of you aren't talking all right, why the silence? Three of Cups. One more for the Three of Cups. Okay, this person's, you know, they manipulated a situation. They could have gone out drinking or whatnot. They could have caused a third-party situation. They are really regretting what they did. And it does not seem like you're talking to them. Boom, down came the tower. So whatever they did to manipulate, they could have manipulated another person into thinking that they were single. You got 
the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Very, very sexual. One more for the tower. And down it came. That's misuse of power. Yeah, this happened really quickly. Okay, I still want one more for that Three of Cups. Was this a third party upright? Yes. Yes. And, <laughs> of course, the most phallic card in the deck. So it is saying that this person caused a third party situation that pissed you the fuck off. So you're pulling back from them. You don't really want to talk to them. You're trying to figure out what's best for you. It's, it really made you f shocked. Very, very shocked. It's like I didn't even... It came kind of just like, a wow, you really did that shit? It's got you irritated. Not only are you pissed, but you're irritated with this person. If they come at your uh, direction, you might rip their eyeballs out of their sockets. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? Well, you could be playing a little nanny nanny boo boo here because it does look like other people are noticing you and this is saying that you're getting your stability back. You're, you're working on yourself. You're taking care of what you need to. You're not really looking at love. You're looking at stability. With the eight of coins here, this could have been something that happened before and you're like, just, this shit just never changes and it does look like you are just done. Right under that, you have the hangman reverse, like they wasted your, your time, wasted your time. You have no faith in this person anymore, not one so ever. Gave it up completely, it can be an Aquarius, but it's just like, I'm moving on to something better. I can't trust that person. Okay, what could be coming towards Aries that is new? New energy, because you're definitely done with this shit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is still wrapping into to this. You had a big fucking argument with this person that could have been telling another person with that three of cups there that they were single when they weren't single. This, this is still wanting to wrap up. It's almost like you want to rip into their ass one more time. You're just kind of thinking about how to do it. Oh, you guys need a new chapter. I mean, do you really want to fight it out, duke it out? can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming your direction. There is a potential of a second chance if you really wanted to cheat her back, if you really did. Because this did happen really quickly. Can you forgive this person? Some of you might. Forgiveness, a new beginning, taking accountability for their action. What's under that? Showing them more attention so they, what, don't fall on a penis? That's kind of what it's looking like. And then you're going to end up dropping it again. They will. Because they got... It's like they can't keep their do a ditty or do a ditty hole in the zipper. No. No, 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 no. You're still guarded. I don't feel like you're ready for love. If this is your story, it's like anybody that comes your direction, you're going to consider to be a player and just not really be ready for it. Very, very guarded of any new love. You're guarding your heart. You're using your intuition. If this is your story, you've just kind of had enough right now. You're looking for new opportunities for yourself, but it might not have anything to do with love. It can be just finance right here. Working on your stability. It's under that. You need to work on letting go of this story too. You are not stuck. You need to try to be more optimistic. I know that the healing is a bitch. It's hard not to keep thinking about that person and how they disappointed you. And yeah, things did not go the way you figured they should go. They, It's not really apologetic. They're argumentative and quick and an asshole and a manipulator, and they misuse their suaveness or whatever it is, they misuse their power, be careful. Because they could come in and, they're still confused, try to get a piece of ass at least, but this is saying depression and really having a hard time, you, there are better opportunities coming your direction. You need to try to work on that healing 
And some of you might take this person back, but keep in mind, you repeat the cycle and everything happens the same way if they don't change. If there isn't any change in the situation and you take them back because you want that commitment with them, it will stay the same. As far as mirroring, I think you're mirroring yourself, okay? Because if you're going to tolerate all this, then you're kind of mirroring the same patterns, okay? You don't want to do the same patterns. This person's not over you. They don't want it to be done. I think you just, as much as you would like to have hope, you don't have any faith that this, you know, so guarding your heart, trying to look to the future, holding back, though, so taking your time. It's like, I just need to drop this. I don't even want to fight for this. I don't want to fight, period. Feeling defenseless, you know, no courage to move forward. It does look like there's somebody, Aries Leo Sag, that could have interest in you, but it does not look like you're ready. It does feel to me like this person lied about being single or they just led that person. It's like, well, omission is still guilt, okay? So they made it seem like they weren't with somebody and it caused one hell of a bad argument. Wasted time, manipulator. Be careful, guys. Try to stay with that. It doesn't get much, you know, go up from here but not back to there, Okay. This person is regretting it, but they know that you don't want to talk to them right now. I really feel like you're working on your stability and balance. If this is your story, I am so sorry. It is a really crappy one. So we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This also can be out celebrating and meeting somebody new. But you make sure that you're actually ready for it. Because if you're not ready for it, you're, it's going to make you take it out on the, Or possibly, not always, but possibly take it out on a newer person. This is that feeling of continuing, okay, but new chapter. It's like I'm going to continue to move forward. This could have been a third-party situation if that was, you know, mm -mm, I don't like it. And because of passion, okay, we did clarify that. Done, manipulator, waste of time. Aries Leo Sag, Cancer Scorpio Pisces Aquarius, Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius, Scorpio. Ugh. All right, we're pulling out the dope ass Empress again. And just a cut of the deck, we have red pill or blue pill. Wake up or stay asleep. The choice is in your hands. We'll take the next one. A reminder that you are a fucking baddie bitch. Don't forget it. All right, Aries, that's what we have for you. Now we go. Okay, Tauruses, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Aries Leo Sag source. Stubborn. Okay, one. Watching you. Trying to collect information. Jealous. Why are they jealous? <laughs> All right, this person wants to get in there before you uh, have a new opportunity with somebody else. One more. There's a King of Wands reversed. Five of Cups. Okay, so they miss you. This is somebody that you're in a timeout from. They could have stepped out of the connection, but either way, they, they could have been manipulative. They could have been just not putting enough work and effort into this. You're just disappointed by them, and they want to be the one to make a new offer, and so they're jealous and watching. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ten of Coins, and the Three of Swords, and it came out kind of sideways. To me, it feels like this person is still kind of dwelling on a hurt that they have from the past. Not because you don't always think about things that have hurt. You can meet this person at a gathering. They could be well off, but this is somebody that's looking to have some long-term dating. They want to take things slow, so you'd have to be patient with them. Also, can be a Sagittarius. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. High Priest. So, Hierophant. Person digs you just the way you are, which is always nice. Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. I dig you just the way you are. I want to date you. I think I like you. It's very nice energy. Bottom of the deck, you got strength. So you might hold back a little bit because it's like, you know, the Nine of Cups is selfish energy. They're looking for what makes them happy. They are looking for long-term dating. And they're, they're like, I like you just the way you are. They like your norms. They like your values. 
I like the way you think. Could be a commitment. Definitely new dating, though. All right, so let's see what we have for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Caps. The Chariot. Can be a Cancer as well. This person's very focused. Very focused on you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And wanting to date and put work into it. There's no hesitation here at all. This person wants to come in with a lot of gusto. Take you, sweep you off your feet. One flew on the floor while I was uh, talking, and that's the Three of Cups. So you could meet this person out at a gathering, but this is two people that would be interested in each other with the intent of being persistent. So they'd be persuasive. They want to date, and they mean business. Coming in, sweep you off your feet. There can be an actual distance and travels involved here. All right. Or something to do with their vehicle. Okay, so we're getting out. I'm calling the Pina Colada deck now. I've changed my mind. Ha, ha, ha. It is in the description box, but I can't. It looks like the Pina Colada. Pina Colada deck. Okay, you have seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and third-party interference are all possible. All right, let's get a clean deck. All right, forewarning. It looks like the person from your past is coming back around to try to have a second chance with you. Are you going to forgive them? However, we're starting with Taurus. Person most on Taurus is minor in their energetic field. Tell us about that person. Ooh. I got a cup of love for you. It can be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And they could have been a manipulator. Or consider you to be one. Why do we have the damn king of swords here reversed? They might be really shitty with communication. Like their love language sucks. Why, why, why? The lovers. Ugh. Okay, well, um, that's not the best way to get on your good side. One more for the lovers. Can be a Gemini. Justice. This person is trying to figure out which one is best for you. Okay, no. This person has more than one option and they're trying to figure out, is it you or that one? Do I want this one or that one? So it feels like you're being schmoozed. It feels like they're leading you on a little bit. But they are trying to figure out, do I want to date this person or that person? So they're holding back and I believe they are lying to you. What is their intention with our Tauruses? Intention. The Emperor. They want to be in charge of their own fucking choice. That This is somebody that's not taking any shit from anybody. Mm -mm. Very defensive. It's like uh, very, very guarded. You're not going to win with this person. So even if you brought up the fact that you thought that they were looking at somebody else, they're just going to be like, well, you know, we're not exactly an item just yet. I don't like it. That's happy horse shit. Their feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. So do you want to be an option? They're full of shit. They're full of shit. I would say release that crap. The devil and the hermit. They're going to pull some bullshit and it's going to piss you off. There is more than one party here. And then you're going to be, you know, done. Done, diddy, done, done, done. No, I don't like it. Can be a Gemini, can be an Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, can be a Libra. But they have more than one option. They have a roaming eye. What else could be coming towards Tauruses? The world. A new chapter. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Well, we like that. Tell us more about the new chapter. Yeah, I think that, you know, heaven forbid you don't figure it out with that person there. There is somebody coming in, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with much better intentions. It's like this person's not going to act like they're pulled in two different directions. They're going to plow forward. So this is somebody that has intent of 
coming in and taking you out. Now there can be something involving a vehicle or an actual move, but the chariot can just be a cancer or somebody that um, needs to travel to see you. All right. This is manifestation and initiating contact with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Their feelings, as their feelings grow, as their feelings grow, they want to take things slow, but they do want to pay attention to you. This is definitely dating. And, you know, they come in with the curious, will you take an offer? Keeping it simple, not trying to pour it on, but this is somebody that does want to date, so their intentions are decent. This is somebody that is anticipating and hoping that you say yes to them as far as dating, but it is new dating and nothing more than that. What will you think about this new person? So you got somebody putting you in a, in a you know, I feel like calling it a fucking trap. What's under that? Okay. A lot of passion and clarity with this newer person. A lot of passion and clarity. But there again, new dating, getting to know somebody, getting the truth, having a breakthrough, having feeling smitten with this person. It's beautiful energy for moving forward and new chapter. So very nice. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wants to take things at a slow roll, but it does look like they're the ones initiating contact with you. Okay. The chariot is very determined. They have their eyes set on you and they want, they want, not that they're going to go, hey, I'm into um, having a new chapter. How how'd you like to be a part of it? But this is somebody that's going to him and ha, come at you a little bit small, but it's going to feel damn good to you. This other shit over here is just that. This is somebody that could have treated you like an op, they would treat you like an option and they would manipulate the situation and lie about it so and they have to i will be in charge of my destiny yeah you go ahead there schmuck but can be a gemini can be a libra they're trying to figure out who the best person is for them and that's fine but it's not okay to put somebody on a back burner or lie i mean if you're going to say i'm dating more than one person that's fine then you can decide to keep your zipper up then you have a choice but if they make you think it's exclusive then it's shit all right let's get the dope ass Empress out. Cut. Cut the deck. Let's see what we have. Okay. Your spirit guides want you to know amazing wild experiences are coming your way. So get the rest you need, bitch. Okay. That's what we have for you, Taurus. On we go. Okay, Gemini's Elemental Quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. One more. One more. Okay. All right. This person is frustrated. They want things to move forward with you. They are heartbroken. They're trying to get beyond it, but you got judgment. They still want a chance with you. So it's like they're kind of being quiet about it, but they're holding out. They're hoping they're still, it's almost like hoping like there's still faith. Cut of the deck. They're going to try to get on the same page with you, so I don't feel like this person's efforts are done yet. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Similar. You got this person that you haven't been talking to. Looks like you kind of just said enough of your shit. Make sure it's two cups. Yeah. So you, you broke up with this person. They want to talk. They want to try to move things forward with you again. They want to come in out of the cold. They could have ghosted you. I hate that crap. It can be a cancer. But this is somebody that didn't treat you the way you should have been treated. And so you stuck up for yourself. Definitely it looks like you're not talking to them now. But they want to try to. They want to try to talk to you. I don't know what the hell they think they're going to say. Other than oops. Okay. A lot of passion here, a lot of truth. This person could be admitting that they stepped out of a connection. That can be a choice of two, and, and the Queen of Pentacles reverse can be a cheater or somebody that's not reliable. One more. They want you to change your mind. They want you to change your mind. You might also be regretting the choice that you made, but mm, what's after that? 
I don't feel like this is the right one for you. I feel like they lied to you and cheated and they want, I mean, they, there's definitely the potential of a new beginning with that person. I don't know if they'd stay true blue. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So got the hots for you. I got the hots for Gemini. All right. They're coming in with an offer. This person's really outgoing. Very, very charming. Very charming. With ideas of new love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So they start... They start real hot and heavy and then bring it down a notch. Could be you telling them to, you know, slow their roll. <laughs> but they're very, very interested in you. This is somebody that hopefully, and their intention is to be respectful of you. So... <laughs> But they they want to come in real hot, okay? It's almost like they're holding themselves back a little bit. Also can be somebody that sees that you um, or have a crush on somebody else or potentially have a crush. So it's like, I better get my ass in there. There are quite a few cards of faces up there. All right, we're getting out. I'm calling it the Pina Colada deck. If you like Pina Coladas, it's actually Island Time Wellness. It just does not fit. So we're going to sing Pina Colada. All right, source. Gemini's. Stop and flip. We have the axe. Break up, separation. Stop the pattern. Abandonment and silent treatment. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see who we're axing here. All right, my gems. Bottom of the deck, we have possibly a Sagittarius coming in direction, but I feel it's more your healing. However, there is somebody that is regretting whatever the hell they did. They do miss you. They might try to come back and convince you that this should be a reconciliation. And it's going to end up with a fight. But they are going to try to get on the same page with you. What's with all the fucking arguments, though? We're talking some sharp, shitty verbiage here. Okay? They want you to be in love with them again. It's like, well, if you left it this way... And walked away because you thought it was the best thing to do. And I'm working on healing. I don't know that that's such a good thing. All right. Person most on their mind or in their energetic field source. Tell us about that person. Okay. What flew out backwards? The Knight of Pentacles reversed. This person is kind of like all talk and no, and no action. I don't think you consider them reliable. I don't think they're reliable, period. I don't think you're necessarily interested either in their not showing any effort. One more for that person itself. Hi, Priestess. This person keeps secrets. All right, what's the secret they kept? What was the secret? Ace of Pentacles. One more for the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Okay, so they're not telling you yet that they want to come in and try to make you change your mind and start dating again, okay? The two of swords reversed is going, I don't want this to be how it is. Not actually looking at the problem or dealing with the problem, but having something to offer. Will you be interested in this offer? How do you see this offer? Okay. Four of Pentacles. You're afraid of it. I'm well, I'm not afraid of it, but you're afraid of opening up to this person. One more. One more. So you're holding back your emotions. You're not telling them how you feel. And then you have the Ten of Wands. It's like this has been such a fucking burden. It's like I felt like I put all the work into it. This is definitely an ex that doesn't want things to be done. You get the Tower reverse. They don't want this to be done. They want you to be theirs again. They want to leave the baggage behind you. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? the star. Some of you can be an Aquarius, but some of you do secretly have some hopes, but you're also stuck. So you're in between 
hoping that it actually would be true and feeling stuck and telling yourself, is it going to be the same old story? Is it, Are we going to be repeating history if this actually happens? One more for the star. One more for the star. I got the Seven of Cups. But according to them, they have made up their mind and they know exactly what they want. They're no longer confused if they ever have been. And that they won't put you in a position of arguing anymore. Mm. One more for the Five of Wands. And you got the Four of Swords. I don't know. This to me looks like you're going to be repeating history. Because we have the Four of Swords. That's a period of silence and talk. Okay. So it's like if you give this some more faith and try to work on this and, and they, oh, it's going to work out and I'm going to this and I'm going to that and I'm saying bullshit. <clears throat> What's the blockage? What's the blockage? You get the three pentacles reversed. So that could have been a third party situation, but this person makes you feel alone. Bottom of the deck, you have the devil. They're selfish. You know, they can have toxic ways. Materialism or um, their perv, even negative thoughts, anything. Obsession, addictions, manipulation. Can be a Capricorn. I'd be damn careful. It looks like there could have been a choice between two people. And they thought the grass was green around one side and they still have feelings for you. So that other person, things might not have gone as, as sunny as they thought. And now they want you back because you're the one that's stable. But this to me looks like a fucking player. You get the Knight of Wands here. It's on, it's off, it's in, it's out, it's up, it's down. And it leaves you all up in your head and you're going, I really have feelings for the devil. But if you're going to keep making me a fucking option, I'm done. This seems like they lie to you and you damn well know it. You can see through it and you're just going to move on onto a different connection. It can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. So some of you might go through this pattern again. You have stopped the pattern. So it does look like it's time to stop the pattern. And then you have justice because you will find the right one for you, okay? Really put your foot down and get clarification. Now, you can have a Libra come in your direction after you give this shit up here. It looks like they're just going to continue to lie to you. Even though you want to have faith, you dream about this person, you do love them, you care about them, you want to believe that they're not going to treat you like an option, but then the conflict starts up again. And it, it is. It's conflict. Four of Swords, you end up in a timeout, feeling sorry for yourself again. And they are off playing fa la 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 footsie with somebody else. Mm -mm. And gets you anxious and depressed. Who the fuck wants that? And they're on to greener pastures. And then it repeats and repeats and repeats. Stop the cycle. This is not being on the same page with you when it's reversed. Could have been a third party. This six of swords can be them in, out, on, off, on, off. And this is definitely delays or lying through their fucking teeth they do they don't respect you i wish they did they they do see you as home but that's not good enough i can be home so is a coach buddy it's like if you need a coach to stay on maybe that but seriously all you do is break my damn heart no i don't like it i don't like it at all two of swords stick with your stick with whatever pissed you off enough to make a choice. Whatever pissed you off enough that pushed you over the edge probably was the best decision for you. They're coming in with what they consider this wonderful, great new opportunity. I don't think it's so great. I think that they're a slacker. An all talk, no action. Mm -mm. And as much as you would like to be able to hold on to them, I think deep down you know that it's just a burn and a pain in the ass. I wish it wasn't. So, can be a Libra come in your direction quicker than you think can be a gemini libra aquarius with the world it's saying end of cycle onto new you have to make that decision time to break the cycle what you do is what you do obviously free will does that taurus leo scorpio aquarius oh libra very heavily taurus gemini libra aquarius this is not a fun feeling to have Losing sleep, crying in your pillow. You know, it's not, 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 not. 
And if this person treated you like an option and now they're saying, I know exactly what I want, they're full of shit. I don't like full of shit. You got Leo here that they might be involved with, but you got Capricorn possibly and Gemini. But to me, it feels like they're a selfish little fuck fuck. All right, Aquarius is in here, and Scorpio as well, very heavy. We are getting out the dope-ass Empress card again with a cut. Let's see what we have for you. You don't need to be a bitter, miserable, single bitch. You probably just need to orgasm. Okay, then. Well, then. Release yourself and go fucking masturbate. Your clit and nerves will thank you. Well, thank you, deck. Stop worrying about the goddamn future. You know you're fucking up the present by doing that shit right. Oh, my God. Okay, this is definitely the Wookiee's deck. That's what we have for you, Geminis, and on we go. Okay, Cancer's Elemental Quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Two more. Okay, let's see what two came out. All right. Oh, boy. One more. It feels like this person's all lusty, lusty. They could have treated you like an option. I don't like it. Nope, they're they're full of shit and got busted. I'd stay the hell away from that one. Mm -mm. If you're watching them because you got the hots for them, don't do it. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The magician, initiation, movement. Willful. Ooh. With lovey-dovey. I like it. Thanks with their head. Thanks with their heart. Thanks for everybody. I should say considers everybody that is involved and wants to be happy with you. Well, we like that shit a lot. That's initiation. That's initiation. This is being very, very happy. They think that they would be ecstatic with you in their life. They want abundance. Fulfillment and mutual lovey. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorp, on the floor it goes. All right, let's see what we have first. There's that spy. Who's going to continue to do so? All right. Bottom of the deck, you have strength. So they're holding back. They do want a beginning with you, but why in the hell are they spying and sitting back? Why are they spying? Oh, they have more than one choice. They could also be in another connection already. Be careful. They could be thinking about leaving the person that they're with and they continue watching you, watching, watching you, wanting a piece of you, holding back. But I'm saying it looks to me like uh, you are an option. Be careful. Hold back. Hold back until you know the truth on that one. Heavy Leo. Okay. Taurus, Virgos, Capricorns. The person that you once had stability with and now are probably in a time out. They could have been a player. They do not know how you feel, but they want to come in with an apology because they are not over you. Your thoughts? Kind of defensive. You're kind of resisting. It's like I'm not taking any more crap from you. Okay, it does look like they, they're a player. They're a player. They want to come in with an apology. Not over you. They want the stability back. Well, you know, if you're a player and you're hiding secrets, it doesn't go so well. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm renaming our palm tree deck to Pina Colada. So there it is. The Pina Colada source for cancers. Two shuffles. Let's see what we have for you. We have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. All right. So you should be getting information. Let's see what we get. Bottom of the deck we have for you is happiness. Initiation can be a Leo. All right. Person, most on Cancer's minor in their energetic field. Source. Can be another cancer, or they're thinking heavy, heavy, heavy about you. 
thinking about coming your direction, regaining interest. So somebody you had dealt with. One more for that Four of Cups. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it seems like they hid something in the past and they're all up in their head. They're trying to come up with this idea to try and fix shit. How big is the band-aid? Hey, you got a pretty big band-aid. Are you going to be interested or not? They don't want you single. They don't want to be single. They want to be your boo again. One more for the moon reverse. They feel like this was a misunderstanding and they want to come back. You got the six of swords reversed. It's like, I want to come back, claim my territory, tell you how I really feel. They even want to take it slowly. So you might be interested in that. How will you feel about this person? Will you at least hear them out? You grab what hit the floor. Okay, you got death. So some of you might just be done with this, or some of you might say, if you changed your ways, if you changed your ways, there is still emotions and feelings here, but that's death. Some of you are just going to be like, I'm just done with this shit. And some of you are going to be like, only if you change, but you're juggling the thought of it. How does this go forward? Three of Wands. This definitely can move forward. Anticipation of better days. And then you have, yeah, Seven of Cups Reverse. They're claiming that they know exactly what they want and that it's you. And they are willing to take their time. This does seem like a legit offer. It does. It does seem like a legit offer. Some of you, it's a no one. Some of you, it's a yes. What could be coming towards our singles? Absolutely singles. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and their intentions. Ooh. To get to know you. Ooh. This could be a... Uh, soulmate person this could be somebody you would feel a close bond with can be a gemini here can be a taurus leo scorpio aquarius but this is saying a new chapter and then with the cut of a deck you have the fool so dating new dating still a coming but that's really nice we use this just for a sign their intentions are to get to know you and see if you could be, you know, really good together. This is also having mutual respect and really letting their hooters hang out in this one, aren't they? Woo! Damn Renaissance cards. Woo! Need to cover their hooters. Holy moly. But this is a new chapter after wrapping up an old one. Some of you are just now not being treated like an option. This person doesn't plan on doing that. They plan on being, you know, really bossing up and taking care of business. This person is all about action and they do want to take action. Death can be a Scorpio. This person plans on taking action, but they'll take it at your pace. But they, they're looking for long term with you. Determined. How are you going to feel about it? It's going to be different for everyone. But you're going to feel the pressure on the, you are going to feel the pressure. This person does want to come back and make you unsingle. And they feel like you took them wrong with something, like there was a misunderstanding. So they want to clarify something, which is where this comes in. What are they going to tell you? What are you going to be finding out? Something needs to come to light. They need to come clean about something. All right, let's get the dope ass empress out. Cut. You don't need to be a bitter single bitch. You probably just need the orgasm release. And go fucking masturbate your clit and nerves. Well, thank you. Lord love a duck. Another cut. Worrying about someone or something means you have lost faith in yourself and in God. Think about that. Don't be a jerk. Have more faith. Oy vey. It's definitely the Wookiee's deck. What can I say? On we go. All right, Leos. Elemental cookies. If you are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. What do we have? Fire signs. Woo! All on the floor. All right. What came out is a lot of doubt. 
lot of doubt wondering if that person's seeing somebody else i would say yes so if you are on time off from somebody else looks like they made you an option there's bad communication between the two of you it looks like it's just done i would let it go burn the kingdom as the wookie says gemini libra aquarius libra. gemini libra aquarius source All right, permit reverse and the tower reverse. This person doesn't want things to be done, and you are ignoring them on purpose. They are not pleased. They think you are stubborn as hell. Good for you. Pretty much. And then the five of wands. You don't want to deal with their drama and bullshit. Bottom of the deck. You made a final choice, and they want you to change your mind. I don't think that's happening. You think they're a snack. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Again with the floor here. All right, ruining my foot. The cards are loud. All right, we got the Page of Pentacles, and then we got the Six of Pentacles. This is one-sided happy horse shit. You're going to end up friend-zoning this person, and they, they probably are well aware of it. And I think you're interested in somebody else, and they're aware of that. So... They're frustrated. They know it's not going anywhere. So this can be just somebody at work. It can be a friend of a friend of a friend of a neighbor's dog's lover's ex-girlfriend. But this isn't something that you're interested in. They know it. It's just one-sided. You got a crush on somebody else? They think. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Player. Attention hole. No, thank you. Player, attention, hole, and you know better. You're like, not happening. Wish denied. It's like you're not get. you are not a hippity hop. You are not a trampoline. Okay. We're getting out. I'm calling it the pina colada deck. I changed my mind. We're going to call it the pina colada deck. Look at that. The snack. Snack. No snake source. Let's see what we get. Two shuffles. Okay. Let's say Leo's source. No snakes. Okay, we have not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Well, that sounds like a fucking treat. All right, let's get a clean deck. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the hair font. So it can be a Taurus coming in your direction. This is the desire to be accepted just the way you are, for how you are, for who you are, for what you believe in. Okay. Source. Person most on Leo's minor in their energetic field. We got the Seven of Cups reverse, so they have made their choice. They are not confused. They know exactly what they want. And then the Six of Cups. All right. Somebody that you are already aware of doesn't have to be an ex, but it sure can be an ex. This is saying, I want to offer you love. I am the king of frogs and love. So they want to come in, make an offer. They are no longer confused. So if you had somebody that was evaluating their choices, they're no longer thinking about it. They've made their choice. Well, it's not nice. How nice of them. Their actual feelings, we know what they want to offer, but how do they actually feel? High Priestess. I think they're hiding how they feel because uh, they want to know how you feel first. One more. Using their gut instincts. Could be treating you with respect. This is, I mean, the High Priestess is smart. The lovers. So it is possible that they had two different choices, but this is saying, I want. Leo. Well, again, how fucking special. How do you view this person? I don't like the, the Seven of Cups. Five of Swords. Argumentative and shitty with their words. Always having to be right. You might have stepped away from this because there was drama and you were like, don't, I'm not going to be treated like an option. And then you got the Six of Swords and the Page of Swords. A lot of swords up here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is basically saying, I've been watching your horse shit, and I'm just walking away from it. So it's like, that's great, you made your choice, 
so have I. Your emotions. Do you have any emotions towards this person? Emotions. Feelings. Gee. You don't trust them as far as you can see them. You get the seven of swords. Again, lots of swords. You think they should be sorry for whatever the hell they did. It's like, you want to recoup me? You got a lot of work ahead of you if you even think it's going to go that way. Seven of Wands right underneath of that. It's like, you'd have to put a lot of work into it. I don't trust you anymore. I'm not taking any more of this fucking bullshit at all. You're protesting and pushing back. Okay. What direction does this go in? There's somebody else that's coming in your direction. So it can be that person coming in to try to make you swoon. I don't think that they, mm -mm, I don't think that they, they, I, with all this here, no. So tell us more about this Knight of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. That's definitely saying, I would like to date you with the intention of something long term. I would like to know. Be in charge and boss up. And this person wants stability. Can be an Aries. Can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that definitely wants to put more work into it than the other person has. The Emperor sits on his throne and, and says, That one I think I dig. Yes, bring to me. They, they okay, so you're going to make them wait. You want to think about it. <laughs> Good for you. You're going to make them start small. Page of Pentacles, it's like, at first I need to be able to trust you and actually know if I like you, which is smart. Getting to know them first, texting, messaging, it's being very reasonable on your part. Very, very smart. You want to make sure it's the right person for you. So that's damn smart. You got possibly a Libra. It looks like this person over here is just going to get, you know, given the shaft, said, we are just done. I Option, I am not. No, but you do have new energy coming forward here. It can be a Pisces, Aries, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have Earth in here. And it does look like they would respect your boundaries. I really like that. So that looks like something that could take off, but it does look like you're going to make them do it the right way. The old-fashioned way, you know, where you're, you're not going to be the trampoline. Mm -hmm. You actually make them work for it. This is very nice energy of saying, I respect your boundaries. I treat you like a, a gentleman or a lady should be treated. Definitely wanting, you know, to take accountability for their actions. But this is somebody that likes to be the head of the, you know, they like to be the, they always say there's one that wears the pants. This is the one that wants to wear the pants in the relationship. They take care of the other person type, very old fashioned. This is you kind of going, earn it. I'm sorry, but earn it the way I've been. But the, their intentions are good. I like their intentions of dating with long term in mind. I like the fact that they'll, you know, take care of people and that they treat you with respect and think that you're very sexual, that you're very handsome, gorgeous, beautiful, whatever the case may be, and that they're fair. And this is also feeling that. This could be a right one. There's never one right one, but a good, decent person for you. So that moving forward is definitely nice. You got so many swords over here with this person. I don't think that there's anything that they could say to change your mind. It does look like they made you an option between two and they didn't want you to know about it. And it's like whoever the hell this was didn't. They weren't very good at not making it obvious. It was very easy. So not enough. Uh-uh, that, that person would make you feel like you lack, they screwed themselves. So self-sabotage, they definitely self-sabotage themselves. Oh yeah, big time. All right, the dope ass empress, we're pulling her out again. Twister, you are a force to be reckoned with. Your energy is so fucking powerful right now. It might cause some chaos if you're not careful. And don't waste your time impressing Fools, you will only end up looking like one, the like the main one. Oh, I can't read today. All right, Leos, definitely looking good. On we go. Virgos, elemental quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. 
All right, this person wants your attention. They want it, you know, yesterday. And then you got the ninth. They're all up in their head about it. Why are they up in their head about it? This also came out. That's quite a bit, but let's roll with it. Well, they're gaining interest back. They see that somebody else might be trying to come your direction that has more to offer. Keep that in mind. So they might feel a little bit inept and they want your attention. But they're not doing it in the best way, i got to say. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Four of Wands. I will pick and choose who I am feeling this bond with. So you're being picky. You do care about one or the other. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Ace of Pentacles. And, ooh. This person is going to continue and continue and continue to keep offering you a new start. They mean it. They mean it. This can be somebody that you meet through a friend. This can be somebody that you friend zone, even though they are really, really interested. Are you going to be interested? Cut of the deck, you got the page of wands, so I would say you're definitely curious to know. But they're coming in with one hell of a successful offer. They continue to keep offering it. And this is definitely somebody that has a lot of passion towards you, and you might want to learn more about them. And they start small, which would be healthy. I like it. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The Empress. This person really thinks that you are just the bomb. Faithful, beautiful, handsome, nurturing. It's the card of abundance. It's also the card of pregnancy, which would be damn sad, according to this person. So if you got pregnant, they'd fucking bail. How about that? Uh-oh. That would be terrible. No, this is basically saying that this person feels that you're going to walk away from them and that you are ticked off. It doesn't matter how much they say the right thing or try to do the right thing, that they feel like they're just losing you, that you're just slipping out of their hands and that you're irritated. I want one more. What do you think? You don't want this to be done. This is like looking like, you know, if you came at me the right way, we wouldn't be, you know, having this issue with wanting another one feeling inept possibly so it's like stop acting like you're not the you know it's like they're feeling sorry for themselves because they think woe is me you don't think have that highly of me and I think you're the world I think that's just a misunderstanding so that would be you know clear it up because they really do feel like they're not good enough like you reject them all right they need a coach trip up their dosage. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, we got the King of Wands. Determined to have some action. Very outgoing. What are they demanding happen here? You got the Six of Cups. They aren't over you, and they want to come in fast. They want to come in with passion. They want to come in and initiate, oh, you know, intimacy. But they wanting, want they want to stick it to you. That's definitely true. But they also have love to offer. So as much as they want to come in quick with the passion, they aren't over you. This is somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be an ex. It can be somebody that was just kind of in and out of your life. It can be a Sagittarius, a Leo. But this is definitely saying... They're trying to control themselves so that they actually can prove that they're going to stick around. And with judgment, yes, it can be an ex, but it's somebody from the past that wants to, to be judged correctly. So they're going to really take it slow. They don't want to, but they are going to. So that's cuddling and moderation and holding back on trying to rip your clothes off. But, oh, they want to. They do. All right. We are getting out. I, I renamed the deck. The, the Island Time Wellness. I'm not calling it the Pina Colada. Yeah, I gotta. All right, because it looks like a Pina Colada song to me. All right, two shuffles. Let's see what we have for my Virgos. Cupid's arrow has peeked out twice. Boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Okay. Boat. Let's get a clean deck. 
Okay, Virgos, bottom of the deck, you have judgment. So there's definitely somebody trying to bring up a reconciliation, wanting to get on the same page, make things work. I think you're saying, no, I already gave this up for Lent. I'm tired of this shit. You made me wait too long. So as far as somebody having a close closure issue, I could definitely see that because it looks like you're just going, I'm ready for a new chapter. Person most on Virgo's mind are in their energetic field. Source, we have... All right, came out this way. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that's contemplating a future. Kind of like, and now what? They've learned a lesson. They feel like they've learned a lesson, and now what? Now what? Because they do have emotions for you. They kind of overlap a little bit. I don't know that you want to open up to this. You get the four of coins. It's like, I'm holding it in how I feel about this. The hermit looks like there was a timeout. This person really thought long and hard about what, what being honest with themselves. But it is solitude by choice. All right, so what this person figure out? That you are the right one for them. That they care about you. Can be a Libra, can be a Taurus, Virgo. This is somebody saying, I want to put work into this. I, you know, I've, they could have just, you know, been unsure about what kind of relationship this was going to be. How does this move forward in their mind? How do they want this to move forward? They want to offer you love. And I don't think they have a lot of patience. It can also be a Sagittarius. So not very patient. This person can also have a drinking issue. They can have one foot in and one foot out. In the past, cut of the deck. Now they're waiting and watching and nervous as hell. All right, how do you view this person? You saw them take off and leave you holding the, holding the whole bag of burden on yourself. Okay. So it's like, you left. You really think that I want this now? <laughs> this is saying, I'm not dealing with your codependent happy horse shit. I've got other suitors getting attention from somebody else. So it's going to be a choice for you. Because look at this, the world at the bottom of the deck can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, but it's like, uh, I think I'm kind of done. You left. One more for that Six of Swords. This was somebody that you cared very deeply for. You, you probably still do care for them, but they left you holding everything and just bailed this is saying that they i mean really left you it bills the whole shit and it's like now you want to pay attention to me when i have other people that are also paying attention to me how do you view this working out what are your thoughts here they would have to start really really small See the little fishy coming out of the because it's like this has really got you anxious. It's like, come on now, really? Just when I was starting to work on my healing, this like interrupts the healing. That's not gonna help. There's gonna be some debating here, and they're not gonna be happy. The temperance reverse that there's competition. It kind of pisses them off. They feel like you're playing a game with them. Test their patience. They're not agreeing. They're, they're envious. Jealous. Tell us about this other person that's interested in you. Well, they want to make sure that you're over that person because they don't want to sit there and fight on who's right and who's wrong. They're laying it out. I mean, they're definitely coming real clean with you and telling you if you want your person, you know, your ex back, then go. How do you view that? You're telling them, no, I'm not opening up to this person. I'm dropping that, that toxic shit. So it's almost like you have to convince that person because it confuses you and it reminds you of the hurt that you've tried to move on from, that you've tried to heal from. 
This is called confusing fucking shit. So it does look like this is making the new person new nervous as well because they know that you did care about them. But the, it seems like your choice is made. It's over here. It's like, I want a new beginning with you. You're the one that I consider to be my significant other. And we're having a new chapter. So, person from the past that took, pretty much, you know, that took the time out. They're moving on to happier things. Big time. Turning your back on the past. Moving forward. Anticipation of something that has a lot more faith in you. And happier, happier can be a Leo, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius. It is good. Some of you might, you know, sway this way, but it does look to me more that most of you are going to go, you, you didn't know what you wanted. You took too long. I tried working on my healing. I met this other person who's paying more attention to me that considers me, that respects me, and maybe they're better in bed too, so I'm dropping the toxic shit. I'm not going to make this other person wonder. Why should I make them wonder? This other person is laying it all out. They're going, if this is, you know, you got to be honest with me because I'm not going to fight for this. And you're telling them, I'm done. Done is done is done. Oh, you vey. In the meantime, you got this schmuck over here. Oh, work on this. Why did you leave in the first place there? Shh, what the? F no, I think you're the empress. I love you. Where have you been? In a fucking cave with your head up your ass. All right, let's get out the dope ass empress. Let's see what we have for you. Okay. You become what you tell yourself you are. A goddess, a lonely asshole, a broke bitch. The list goes on. Be very mindful of what you fucking tell yourself. So what will you choose to be today? And you don't have to know the outcome to every little goddamn thing. There must be some fucking mystery to your life. Where is the fun in being a know-it-all? Stop running, ruining the fucking magic. <laughs> All right, that's what we have for you, Virgos, and on we go. Okay, Wookie crew. Yeah. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, ooh, this person wants to pay attention to you. This can be a bit of an attention hole. Let's see what all came out here. Meeting somebody out that wants a new chapter, they think the world of you. Go for that shit. Well, the Queen of Wands likes to draw in her get the attention you know it's like the flirt that's doing this but they definitely think a lot of you they find you as an abundant connection to be in and they do want to try you know dating with you very nice it does feel like you meet them out all right gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius source regret remorse Oh, I changed my mind. I do love you. Oh. Well, what a fucking pity, huh? Hey, let's work with this. Let's work with this. Let's get on the same page. I shouldn't have left in the first place. Your thoughts. I'm getting attention from other people. That's why you're jealous. One more. Yeah, okay. So some of you are still interested in this person. And some of you have somebody else that... It's like th this person, you're all up in your head about them. You could have a new suitor. It can be a Leo. You got a little love triangle going on here and, and an elemental quickie. No shit. It's like you meet someone, you're taking things slow, and then in comes the ex saying, but I do love you. And we should get on the same page. And you go, headache, headache alert. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One more. This is somebody that's interested in taking things slow, the slowest, but look at the way they look at each other. So this is somebody very respectful, stable, very chill, delivers one hell of an offer. And they're serious. This could be something that you've been manifesting. They're being extremely honest with you. 
forager. It's like they start with the slow and then they're like, no, I mean business here. I really am interested in this. This person is strategic. They express their feelings in a different way. They can be a little more standoffish, but it's an honest and very direct person manifesting you because they want you to love them. They want you to love them. Very powerful though. Very convincing too. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Merciful. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, person from the past that wants to get back together. One more. Yeah, they went back on their throne. How do you view this? Some of you feel like that's your significant other, and some of you feel like, let's get one more. They could have made you an option. Can be a Gemini. No, you consider it the, so that's a go. Some of you want this person back. I mean, the long term, the coming back around, you know, not over you. You got a counterpart with the lovers. That's definitely saying, yes, this is can be a Gemini, but it's definitely saying, Respectful boundaries and two people that put work into it and honest and reliable. Okay. Wow. You guys are like days of our lives here. All right. I'm getting the pina colada deck out. That's what I'm calling it from now on. Okay. Okay. So we're going to get two. Shaul, I like you came out. Peek in its face. Two shuffles. Cupid zero speaking out. Definitely got the lovey loveys. All right, let's see what we got. Source for Libra. All right, let's see what flew out. Okay, you got talking, interested, conversing more, available, message arrives, oh, awaited a message arrives, hard to see it, text, call, email, and hovering. Hoverboard, maybe. Mm. All right. Clean deck. So bottom of the deck that I have for you, we have judgment. It's underneath of that. Three of wands, anticipating moving things forward with you. So that can be a brand new chapter. That can be an ex wanting to come in and kiss your ass. Let's see what we get. Okay. Source. Person most on Libra's mind or in their energetic field. What are they thinking? All right, regret, remorse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly. One more. Okay, this is somebody that you have a time off from, and they are feeling sorry for themselves. However, I think they're enjoying the shit out of being single. I think they're full of it. They're all talk, no action. What is this person's intention? I think they're full of shit. Ugh. they're cold as ice. I mean, are you really? In no, you're not interested anyway. You got the, this is almost like them knowing that you're not interested. And yet, why Why do they feel the need to come in and talk to you? Just to declare that they're an asshole? Hi, I'm an asshole. Yeah, me, over here. No, this is somebody that you took a time out from. They could have been a, they could have been a fucking perv. Okay, just saying. Cruel, domineering, jackass. What the hell do they want? Nothing. They, they're just going to leave, you know, they're going to leave you sitting alone feeling like you're the only one that's going to put any work into it. So this is somebody that you don't want to have anything to do with. Something new is coming, though. You have the Ace of Wands. Tell us more about the Ace of Wands. I don't even know what the fuck that person wants. It's really senseless. Okay, well, hello, lover. Lots of passion, something that could lead to long term. Coming in quick. You could also have two choices because you got the two of, okay. So, you know, I'm feeling this is more you trying to make up your mind. It's like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I've got choices to make. Which one's going to work out better? I'm going to have to hold back and really think about this. So you're going to... 
you're kind of, it's like, I'm excited. I want a new chapter, but I'm not sure with, with which one. <clears throat> it seems like one comes in really quick, very passionate, very persistent. The other one's more mature. You do have hope with one of them. And you're ready to put the work into it, but you're holding back. So it could be that you're more sexually interested in, in the one that could be younger as well. But there's confusion here. So you're kind of going, huh, I don't know. I almost feel sorry for you. Almost. Much better energy than you've been having. But it is a new chapter nonetheless. Anything else? Yeah, this does look like it'll end up being long-term dating. And clarity and truth and honesty. I mean, I do like that. So it's like when you decide to plant your seeds, it will go well. Meantime, person over there, jackass, control freak. I, I don't even know why in the fuck they're showing up here. I really don't. They're not over you. You want to be happy. You've taken your time to try to heal from them. You're going to be cold towards them. So tough shit on their part. But this is basically saying... Intimacy, happiness, honesty, a new, you know, a new chance. Honest. A breakthrough. This is clear, clear judgment and knowing what direction you want to go. But I think you're holding back a little bit here with the strength card. It's like, yes, oh, either one. Oh, can't have both. Don't need both. Don't have room in the bed for both. So you have to make a choice between two. I feel like you'll not feel, I think you will feel the difference between the two and it will make it a lot more apparent for you. One could be that twin flame type feeling soulmate. I don't like twin flame so much, but it sure the hell looks like it moves forward very nicely. You have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You got the hots for one or the other. It also can be the same one right here, but you are still holding back to make sure that it is the right one. It can be somebody that's mature, but comes in very, very playful and persistent as hell. But it sure the hell looks nice. It sure does. Don't let them confuse you. This is definitely something worthwhile taking. It's like, now what? Oh my God, it's so exciting. I mean, this is very exciting energy. After you've done some healing. Why schmuck face is in here? I have no idea. There's really no reason. Unless he's just trying to be an ass. He or she. Be an asshole because you're starting over. But I don't think you're dealing with it. You're like, you know, I just don't know. I, I'm not interested in your crap. I don't care if you're not over me. You're a control freak. You're cold as hell. You're somebody that doesn't even know how to use their words correctly. You missed the opportunity. You cut me off. You wanted to be single. You're single. You know, it was wish granted. That's what you wanted, dude. Do that. All right. Empress. Dope ass. Okay. Did you know we've got a super part? It's called Living My Bitch. Like it. Forgiveness is for you, not them. In fact, they can fuck off. But you, my bitch, deserve peace. I like it. All right, that's what we have, Libras, and on we go. Scorpios, elemental quickies. Are you dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag? In comes Romeo with a lot of lust. This person wants to move things forward. They're anticipating getting in your pants, and they want to romance them right off your butt. How do you view this? Let's see, we hit the floor. Oh, yeah, this makes you feel groovy. Something that you're liking. That definitely could go into dating. So if you end up with a, we're going to call it a one weekender, not necessarily a one nighter. This person definitely has the hots for you big time, but it could definitely go into dating. So spending a lot of time, this person wants a lot of your time. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. And then you got somebody pouting. But they're hiding shit. Okay, so this is somebody that he might see that you got involved in that. And they went, oh shit, I guess I was too slow. I was going to offer something big, but not anymore. 
It doesn't look like you were interested anyway. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. What's this person thinking about? They're thinking about the fact that they feel it was one-sided. Well, then why in the fuck try to come back? Because it sure the hell looks like they left. Did they feel like they were rejected? That's what I'm wondering here. How do you view this person? Come here. Well, you're kind of... Ugh. No, you're not interested. You're just... No, you're just going to drop it. It's like... I'm protecting myself from you. I'm not dealing with any more crap. I'm not taking any more from you. I don't want to argue with you. I'm just dropping this. This is not even something. So yeah, to them, it is one-sided. You don't care. All right. They probably deserve it if they walked away. So if it wasn't that they felt like they were inadequate, they walked away. Now they want to return. Tough shit. Okay. Suck it up, Sally. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Incoming messages. Very, very quick. Wanting your attention. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. You're being a little stern with them. Why are you being stern? This is definitely somebody that wants to succeed, can be at a physical distance, and they think you, well, you could have resting bitch face. How do you actually feel about this person? Well, you do feel like it could go somewhere, but you want to start really slow. So it, do, it does look like you're interested, but you're being very, very strict about guarding your heart. It's like, it's going to be my way or the highway. Don't, you know, slow your roll there chief because it's going to go slower than you think so this can be meeting somebody through a friend or at a group but this is looking really nice i, I kind of like the fire signs i gotta tell you all right we're getting out the pina colada deck that's what i'm calling it now changed my mind on that the pina colada all right we're gonna get a shuffle here See what we got. Okay, you have ascending. So, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, a new phase, and preparing for union. That would say new dating. Let's get a clean deck. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. So, that can be somebody that's ready to commit, can be, um, just and wise, good behavior, somebody accepting you for your values and morals and just the way you are. I like it. it can be a Taurus. All right. Person most on Scorpio's mind or in their energetic field. One more. One more. Okay. So you have the magician. This person's been manifesting you, they feel like, for a long time. So definitely having interest in you. What's their intention? Intention source. Nine. Okay. They're anxious as hell. Why in the hell so anxious? Because they got the hots for you and they're not sure if you're going to be interested. So did you tell this person you weren't interested? Possible. Their actual intentions though, because right now they're kind of holding back. They're trying to manifest you, and yet they're sitting on their ass not doing anything. They went dating with you. That's the fool. Can be an Aries. What do you think of this person? Celebration. Happy, happy. All right. So that's saying I could see hanging out with you and celebrating. That's definitely new. That's a breakthrough. That's saying yes. That's saying yes. Clear judgment. Making intentions known. That you would be interested. Heavy Aries. They make you feel enthusiastic. And then you got, okay, judgment. So that can be a brand new chapter. This is somebody that knows what they want. I do feel like they're kind of... Acting like they're inept or not good enough for you because they think so highly of you. I, I do have to say that. 
So they've been waiting. I mean, they've really been waiting and waiting and waiting. That's the hangman. Can be a Pisces. Does this move forward? Sure the hell looks like it does. Does this move forward? Let's see what came out here. This is you telling them exactly what you want, what you know, and then that you want somebody that is going to be long term. Fair enough. So you're really laying it out. But there is, bottom of the deck, there is passion here. Can be an Aries. So this looks like new dating. So singles expect somebody that kind of feels like you're better than them to come your direction. And Ten of Cups with the Ace of Coin. This is a, a new opportunity. This is a new opportunity and a very successful one that could go into long-term dating. You can meet them in a group. Something to celebrate can be an Aries. This person is definitely sexually attracted to you and vice versa. Very nice. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I really feel like you're, you know, telling them exactly how this is going to work out. It's like not holding back, not holding back at all. This is like coming clean and saying, this is what I've been through. This is what I'm not dealing with. I know exactly what I want. And a new chapter, it shall be. But it's a big decision. So this person's waited, 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 waited. I feel like they're done waiting. They're still anxious and up in their head. Do I have a chance with Scorpio? That's the page of, page of blah, 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 wands reverse. So it's like, not thinking that they're good enough, you know, feeling kind of fearful, uh, you know, wondering, am I good enough? Insecure. I've been thinking about you for so long. They can't stop thinking about you. And they have been, you know, you're constantly on their mind. So very nice energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy Aries. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not too much earth up here, but that looks really nice. Let's see what we have from the Empress deck. Okay. Stop worrying about the goddamn future. You do know you're fucking up your present by doing that shit, right? Oh, God, that's fine. Okay, guess what? You're still alive and breathing. Fucking amazing, isn't it? That's all. Okay, you guys have new dating coming your way. Very nice energy, Scorpios. I like it. Okay, on we go. All right, Saggies, ready? Let's rock and roll. Elemental quickies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Source, what do we have for fire signs? We have the Eight of Coins and the Star. This person has faith that this can be something that is long-term. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the Wheel of Fortune. They want it to keep going and going. This is somebody that's going to keep keep at you and keep having faith and a connection with you. That looks really nice. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, they're not having a good day. Okay, so it looks like you took their sunshine away and walked away. Is that enough? End of cycle. But they still have interest in you. So they might come in with an apology because they are depressed and missing you. It does look like they're going to make a new offer. So it depends on how you feel. How do you feel about this person? They're not happy without you. They feel like the, the future between the two of you is kind of foggy. But that does look like you could be happy with them making that offer. You got the two of wands. That's two people that should be feeling the same way about each other. It looks like you've been manifesting this. So this can be a new chapter with the same person that's all wondering what's going on. Well, now we know what's going on. It looks like if they came your direction, you'd be happy to hear from them. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Six of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This person wants to be successful, coming in chivalry, hopeless, romantic, very idealistic person with an offer of that could lead to long term. They feel that can be a Gemini, but they feel that this could be something long term and they are anticipating that it is. So really nice. Are you going to be interested? You're going to make them take it slow, but it does look like you're interested in, in um, getting to know them. So it's like, I'll get to know you and then I'll think about it. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Come on. Flip out if you're gonna. Okay. You got the two of swords. That's two people refusing to look at the situation, not paying attention to the problem at all. Okay, so this person is refusing to look at the actual issues. This is like a crossroad. It's kind of like, take a time out. Do I offer? They want to know. Do I, do I make a new offer here? Do I try to come at Sagittarius or not? They think that you don't really want to have anything to do with them or that you've made a... No, I don't know. It looks like you're interested to me. You got the fool here. But you also have the king of swords. So it's like you're going to be guarding your heart and being like, things have to be different. But this can be changing your mind, coming in with one hell of an offer, saying, I'm going to be very reliable. I'm going to be a hard worker on this connection. I'm going to make sure that things are fair and they could have learned a lesson while you had a time out from that person. Okay. We are getting out the... I'm calling it the Pina Colada deck. I changed my mind. Instead of the Palm Tree deck. Okay. Going to get a shuffle. Lightning. Sudden change. Shocking news. One more shuffle. I'm being told. Camera. Reminiscing. All right. Ooh, well, let's see what wanted to pop out. Lightning and talking. All right. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. Big change. And then talking. Interested. Conversing more. Awaited message arrives. Text, call, emailing, and hovering. Behooves you to hover. Okay. Let's get a clean deck. All right, you guys have fantastic energy at the bottom of the deck. Manifesting, having everything that you need to be successful. Oh, new chapter, like it. Source, person most on Sag's mind or in their energetic field means business. This is somebody that is a hard worker. They care about the person they with. They are committed. Can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell us more, please. And this is new dating. Can be an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's this person's intention? I mean, they want to spend time with you. They want to get to know you. Take a chance. Flirt. Get to know you. This person can be on the shy side. Can be a Virgo. This person could have learned a lesson in the past, but this feels new and they want a future. They want things to be good. They want things to be, they want a chance. They they want to give this a go. We're going to pull that out. I want, right underneath of that, you get the Ace of Cups. So this is somebody that wants a dating with you. Okay, how do you view this person? How do you view this person? You're taking all the attention you can get from this one. You're like, yep, I'm attracted. They make you feel confident. They make you feel good. They make you feel that ace of coins wanting to be successful to move forward. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. This is definitely saying it's something to hold on to. Nice energy. Wow. How do feelings grow? Two of coin. This is definitely something that you want to take slow, but your emotions are all ready to have a new beginning. This is really freaking sweet. This is possibly a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. They want good luck. You want a new chapter. This is let's collaborate and work on this. I've really given this some thought. I would like to hold on to you. I'd like to keep 
keep moving this direction. This is having stability, can be in Aries. But this is meeting somebody new if you're absolutely single. And this is sure looking like new dating. Heavy on the Aries with the fool up here. This person could have taken a time out from their last relationship. And it does look like that. Seven of pentacles here. They took a time out to decide. You know, now what? What do I... Oh, hi, Sagittarius. Un un nice to meet. Wow. I really... This could go some... Wow, you know, and they're all about it and accepting you as you are. This person's like, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. This is beautiful. This looks like they've had a history where they couldn't trust somebody. They want somebody that's right for them and not someone that's going to bullshit them and just tell them what they want to hear because they want to hear it. They want somebody that's right for them, can be a Libra. They accept you as you are. You could have the same values, but this also can be a commitment. This person's really given this some time. Into, it's almost like they took a time off from everything. Sudden upheaval? Hell yes. Talking? Definitely. A new chapter? A new cycle for you? Oh, I like it. And it's good luck. It's a good taking of a chance. It's rolling the dice and saying, hell yeah. This person wants to show you that they're reliable, that they're caring, nurturing, pays attention to you, and you're all about it. Oh, my, 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 my. That's new dating. That's a new relationship that could lead to long term. Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Virgo. Wow, that was quick and wow. So, have sudden? Yes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Talking. Oh, yeah. I think there'll be more than talk. This is really, it feels so exciting. It's crazy. It's just, I'm kidding. Ooh. All right. Cut of the deck. We have do a random act of kindness. Treat someone who could really need, treat someone who could really need it. Treat someone. Okay. Uh, be nice to somebody. Be a fucking hero for the day. Did you forget that you're still human? The universe is begging you to take a fucking nap. Stop fighting it. You're only going to make shit worse, you little zombie you. <laughs> uh, no, I think you've got good shit coming and it is exciting as hell. I get that like tingled on my legs. I like it. On we go. All right, Capricorns, Elemental Quickies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do we have for our happy cappies? Aries, Leo, Sag, Source. Okay. Got one that flew out. Let's see what that one is. This looks like this person's just dropping it. They're thrown in the white towel. Do we even bother? Yeah, you know, you get the world. I think they're just moving forward alone. One more. One more. Oh, they don't want it to be done. They're still thinking about you. You might hear from them yet. King of Cups also flew out, so that person still loves you. They might think that you gave up on them. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Ah, very guarded. <laughs> Why is this person so guarded? What are they resisting or pushing against? Dating. Gravity. Dating! Kind of gravity. Seriously? Screw that shit. Ugh. One more. Resisting dating. Pushing back from dating. Or very, 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 very clear boundaries about dating. Because this is the type of person that's very particular. They're open to communication, but we're talking about a picky motherfucker. They're, you know, have high standards, and if you don't meet them, next. So be careful with that. I don't like it. I smell arrogance. Yes. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The star. Heavy Aquarius. What else? I wish I may. I oh, wish I might me. have my choice and date you tonight. This person's guarding their heart. 
they're hoping that you feel the same way. They want to come in with clarity. Uh, let's see what you think of this. I'm nosy. You are going to counteract them with the clarity. It's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. This person's definitely, this has got to be a reconciliation for the both of you to be so guarded like this. I mean, you're definitely tit for tat. What's, yeah, this is like, I'm ready to talk about this. This looks like an attempt at reconciliation that really could go well, but a very serious talk. Very serious. This person's restless. So are you. There is hope. There is hope there. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A more shuffle. All right, you got the hangman, can be a Pisces. This person wants to, they want to come back. They want to come back, still attracted to you. Why the lovers? They feel like you are a good pair together. This is somebody that feels that, the, you know, they want to have respectful boundaries. They're choosing you. There is no other option. They aren't treating you like a piece of meat. They're not treating you. There's just been some arguments here and they regret anything that's been said. They do miss you. They want to clarify things. They took a time out to really think about this. They had some big epiphany and they're going, yes, I care about you. I want to try to work this out. They want to try to work. This is like, I will show you that I do care about you, that I do love you. That's very nice energy. Heavy Pisces and Gemini. All right. We're getting out the Pina Colada deck. I changed the name of it again. I'm calling it the Pina Colada deck. Because I want to. If you like Pina Coladas, like that. All right, one more shuffle. Okay, Capricorn source, Capricorn. All right, let's see what wants to come out here. Heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Ooh, exciting. Okay, let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck I chose for you. You have the hair font. Ooh. Accepting you how you are. This is about beliefs and commitment and taking you as is and you taking that person as is. But it's definitely showing, uh, conforming, um, a stable influence. It does look very nice for commitment. Okay. Who is most on, well, hmm. most on Capricorn's mind are in their energetic field. What are they thinking? On the floor. Okay, what hit the floor? Seven of Wands. Very, very clear. This person's wanting to have the courage to come your direction and say, hey, let's try this. They want harmony. They want balance. Can be Sagittarius. Can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this is like, I'm up for this challenge. They've got a lot of courage here. So it's like, let's give this a try. Very clear boundaries, but they do want to initiate intimacy, cuddle buggy, balance between the two of you. It can be possibly not your usual type, but this person means business. They want dating with the intention of long term. You might meet them out amongst friends or through a friend, but then they're going to swoon you, okay? So they're... <laughs> Their intention is to get your attention. I like it. I like it. What will you think of this person? What will you think of this person? This is like mutual attraction. Mutual, not fatal, mutual attraction. You have two twos. So making a choice, making them work for it. It's definitely looking like something that you're interested in and that it could be wish fulfillment. Ooh, and the star right underneath of that. 
So this is saying, yes, I'm interested, but I need a little bit of time to make sure that you're the right person for me. So you're kind of juggling it back and forth. It's like, let's spend some time. This is two people that feel mutual. It's planning. So it's getting together, making plans. It's talking, getting to know somebody, knowing, you know, it's like kind of juggling the idea of this becoming long term. But this is like wish granted. So is the star can be an Aquarius. This is saying you are definitely interested. Cut of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. That can go into bliss. Bliss, I tell you, bliss. So it does look like dating with the intention of long term. Very nice, guys. There isn't anything to touch here. This can be meeting out and about. So if you get an invite, can be meeting through a friend with the Page of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. This is having faith in this connection. And you started with the hair font for overall beautiful energy. Beautiful. Twos are balance and choices. So this is something that it does look like you will choose because it would make you feel good. It would make you feel content, happy. Very nice. Clear boundaries. This person's got the courage. They're coming in with their little cute green army men and they're saying, come on, let's give this a shot. And, you know, abundance and, and reliable oh, and romantic could be amongst friends. Okay. So if you get an invite, go. Or if a friend says, hey, I know this person you should meet, meet them because it sure the hell looks like it would be payoff. Holy crap. Wish fulfilled, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Knight of Cups also comes in very romantic with, with wabbits, wabbits with the intention of long term. And this person definitely wants to show you that they are the type of person that is going to be there. Balance and harmony and cuddling and intimacy and they mean it. Ooh, ooh. All right, we're getting out the dope ass Empress again today just for fun. Cut of the deck. Let's see what we have. You don't have to know the outcome of every little goddamn thing. Let there be some fucking mystery in your life. Where's the fun in being a know-it-all? Stop ruining the fucking magic. Your intuition is your best fucking friend. She looks out for you and alerts you when your shit's about to go down or when shit don't add up. Don't ignore that. She's screaming for attention. Listen, bitch. So, yeah, I'm saying that you're going to have a gut feeling about this person coming in and it sure the hell looks nice. All right, my Capricorns, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Okay, Elemental Quickies for Aquarius. If you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Fire sign, source. All right. The hair font. Ooh, this person wants your attention. They want your attention, possibly for long-term dating. This is a decent person. I'm kind of licking it. Can be a Taurus as well. Wanting to come in quick and achieve your successful love. So wanting to um, commit or go to a higher level in a connection. I like it. Honest. Honest and for true. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Alright, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Judgment and reconciliation. So you bo your bodies are being loved. Possibly a reconciliation also can possibly be a reconciliation or new. This also can be new. You could be needing on and about, and it's just a new chapter that goes well. I like it. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, you got the Nine of Coin. Very independent. All right, teeter-tottering, I feel person is thinking of, about unbachelorizing themselves because and it's only because of you oh my goodness look at that bottom of the deck empress libra or taurus aquarius is here this person is very bachelory and used to being on their own very very independent but thinking about the long term oh wishing dreaming hoping you guys got it going on today all right 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Source. All right, six of coin. Two more. The Emperor. You are wish fulfillment. Holy man, you guys did, couldn't go wrong today with your elemental quickies. Wanting something to make themselves content. Boss and up. They could be a little bit of a control freak, but this is somebody that wants to be generous in how they feel about you and vice versa. Nice. Ha, ha. All right, we're getting out the pina colada deck. I'm renaming it. Yes, again. I was calling it the palm tree deck. I just don't think the real name fits. All right. Two shuffles. And then we will see what we get for Aquarius. Taurus okay. Aquarius. Okay, let's see what we got. You have Cupid's Arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. And then hesitation. So maybe being a little on the shy side. Okay, let's get a clean deck and see what this is about. Nice energy. Wishing, hoping, dreaming. Your overall energy is yearning. I can feel it. Waiting for good things to come. Hopeful. Expectations. Things that you aren't aware of. All right. Person most in their field. Energetic field. Or on their mind source. What do we have for Aquarius? It can be a Leo. Passion. Holding back. Knowing the appropriate time to come in your direction. Having courage. Tell us more about this person. There's the star. You're an burning one and a piece of you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is, I have faith that we can, you know, get it on. I have faith that we could have emotional ties between the two of us. Nice. Their feelings, as it is right now, a lot of passion. Lots of passion. All right, how will you view this person? This is pretty straight up. You got the emperor. Make sure you can see that. And the six of pentacles. So that's like your Taurus Virgo Capricorn, which is Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Aries here, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is saying that you feel like, now you could say that they're a bit of a control freak, but bossing up and being responsible, somebody that wants to be stable, somebody that feels stable to you. Ooh. Feelings as this moves forward. Okay, bye guys. Seriously, this is really nice. It's like you meet someone, they have faith, they're hoping for emotional bonds, they want to be intimate with you, they're daydreaming about you, they're all gaga over you. They think that you're the bomb diggity, that you get attention from other people. You could twist, you know, they could, you know, you put them right there around your pinky. And you're saying, I feel like you're balanced and fucking normal. And how about that shit? Cut of the deck can be a Libra. But this looks like, look at this. This could move forward absolutely incredibly beautiful. Huh. We're leaving it. I mean, you they're all upright as well. Very positive energy for you guys. Holy crap. Get out this weekend. The right one. Waiting. Cause and effect. Somebody with a very bold, strong character. Very decent person. Very nice energy. Wow. Anticipation of good things. Anticipation of the right person. Putting work into it. A new chapter. Something that's stable. That's fair and balanced, that listens to you, that's got the hots for you. Uh -huh. Wow. So Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Heavy Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. Waiting for those ships to come in, planning for a future, anticipating the future. It can be a trip, but it's increased, increased interest moving forward. Wow. Very nice. All right. We're pulling out the Empress. All right. Oh my God, guess what? You're still alive and breathing. Fucking amazing, and isn't it? <laughs> be fucking grateful. Shit can be so much damn worse. Like running out of coffee or not being able to orgasm. Okay, that is true. That, that is true. 
Especially the coffee part. Well, I don't know. You tell me in comments which one's more important to you, coffee or orgasmic bliss. On we go. Okay, Pisces. Elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. Let's see what we have for my cupcakes today. Okay, King of Pentacles. Somebody that wants to boss up and make one hell of an offer. A new beginning. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very heavily here. Ooh. A new chapter. Putting work into it. Consistent. No fail. Always reliable. Ugh. Six of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Paying attention to you. I like it. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Cold. Shitty. Remembering the past. Six of Cups reverse, not over you, but acting like an asshole. Well, it could be if they were acting like a asshole, it could be why they want a reason to celebrate. They want to reconcile with you. How do you view this? Not so much. Mm -mm. This looks like you're like, I'm out of here, folks. This shit, I'm out. What was the blockage? I'm nosy. They didn't put enough effort into it. So not enough emotion. You got a lot of cold feelings here. It's not that they don't care. It just was like, I'm I'm, I'm done. You didn't put enough into the, you know, they still have hope. Keep that in mind. Can be an Aquarius, but they still have hope. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Regret, remorse. I actually do love you. I should have put more work into it. I'm sorry I took my sweet ass time. A lot of regrets here. A lot of regrets. Also can be that this person chose to be single and it didn't work out so well for them. They figured it out a little bit too late. How do you view this person? Well, if they came back around, you might consider the long-term abundance with them. He's got a lot of lovey doveys in here. And potential. Alright, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let me come back. Five of Pentacles reversed. This was upright. So was this. Okay. All right. This person's knocking at the door. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. They're disappointed that they're out, out, out. But it looks like they didn't commit, commit, commit. All right. One more. Their actual feelings. They could have caused a third party situation. They have hope. That they can be a family with you again or be back under your... Mm -hmm, they want to reconcile. How do you view this person? I'm nosy. Seriously, Wookie. There's that feeling again of wanting to be single, wanting to be independent. This person could be just nervous about that long-term commitment, like they're going to lose their identity. There needs to be some serious communication because it does look like they're hurt. Don't necessarily, it doesn't have to be, I don't see an extra body up here, so it doesn't have to be a third party. I'm trying to let go of that feeling of disappointment, but wanting to come back and, you know, get rid of the emotional poverty between the two of you. So I think their intent is good. I don't know if they just aren't used to, they've been a bachelor their entire life and you're the first person they actually fell in love with. Mm -hmm. All right, we're getting out the Pina Colada deck. I changed the name of it again. Okay, let's get a shuffle or two. And see what we have. My cupcakes. Okay, overall energy. We have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other's company. Okay, let's get a clean deck. All right, your overall energy is the hanged man. So this could be something you've been going, you know, where's my love, Ben? Love, where are you? What you have to do is surrender to the universe and stop thinking about it and, and the self-love. I know annoying as hell to hear, but so very, very true. I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but I do. So, self-love. Anyway... Surrender. Let the thoughts go. Roll with the flow. Source, who's coming towards Pisces that is most on their mind or in their energetic field? Tell us about that person's thoughts. 
I got the nine of cups reversed. So they're feeling sorry. Sorry for themselves and all alone. Aw. So you got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can be somebody either that lost out on the long term with you or it can be meeting somebody out. Okay. It can be a gathering. Collaboration should be, but right now they're just feeling their pity, pity party. They might mm, overindulge in certain things, drinking, whatever, because they're feeling sorry for themselves. Uh, conditional wish granted with terms and conditions. They might feel like if they bend too much that they're going to regret it. Can be a little bit demanding or judgy. We don't like that shit. What's this person's thoughts of Pisces? What do they think of you? You broke their heart. Did you break their heart? All right. This can be that they broke your heart. And they're curious to see if you would take them back. But you got judgment at the bottom of the deck. Reversed. You also have the high priestess. Justice right underneath of that. So this looks like this person got their just dues. And you're kind of like, how do you view this person? They juggled you. All right, so what's the incoming energy source? That's a lot of secrets being held. An immature energy. They regret the choices. They thought they were doing something to make themselves get content, but they ended up alone. And there we go. So it can be a Libra coming your direction, somebody that might be a better match for you. What's cause and effect? Somebody that's got strong character to them. Wanting equalness, balance, harmony. There again with the meeting out in public. You might bump into your ex while you're out meeting this newer person. And it does look like it could be faster than you think. That's really nice energy moving forward for you. Person from the past with a cut of the deck is the world reversed, not over you. So they might still reach out. If you bump into them, they might bring up reconciling. Okay, tell us more about this Knight of Wands that looks so pretty. Hotty. Very persistent. This is somebody that's a go-getter. Can be somebody in law enforcement or in the justice. Ooh, they want to initiate contact with you. It's going to make you feel good. So use your intuition, but this does look like meeting somebody new while you're out having some fun. So get out of the house. Cut of the deck. Very nice energy moving forward. Collaboration is kind of like a now what? Okay, yeah, I got the hots for you. Now what? Now what? Now what? <laughs> Investing those seeds slowly. Something new. Something worth dating. Bossing up. They're not just going to come in play in that state. They definitely look like they're going to stick around and see if this is something that would work out. It's at the top of the deck. Get out of the house. You got possibly a Virgo, but you need to get out. You need to get out. There's that boom and, you know, looking towards the future. So this looks like you're still kind of licking your wounds or that ex of yours is. It does look like they juggled you. Can be a, a third party. I don't feel like they even really regret it. If they come in, it's almost going to be like they're entitled to have you back for whatever the fuck reason they actually think they deserve to have you. Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Here again, could have been a third party situation. Make sure you guys can see. Yes. Okay. So with the three of swords. But if you bump, I just get this feeling to say if you bump into them, it's almost going to be at the same time that you're bumping into this newer person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very powerful. This person wants to initiate forward movement in a connection, get to know you, cut of the deck, you have the star. Mm -mm. So you'd be, you know, yearning, burning, and it's like, I can feel this is somebody decent, very nice energy. It's like, then you're able to drop the anxiety that you've had and, you know, regain interest in love again. This looks really nice. I like it. 
This is saying that those emotions could grow, but it's also using your intuition. This person can be quite convincing between whew, these two major arcana. Very powerful, but very... They come at you right, okay? This is not a player. This is just somebody that's got a lot of ambition and wanting to have fun with you, wanting something to celebrate, a lot of passion. Very motivated. This is the type that's all about getting right in there very confident about themselves you you wouldn't miss them <laughs> they're going to pursue you with pride and really looks nice so new dating is coming but i really gotta tell you get the fuck out of the house this person knows that shit didn't go their way did they learn their lesson probably not so much i mean with judgment reversed mm -mm. that's kind of like hiding behind a mask and you not forgiving and so they're kind of in the pity party feeling sorry for themselves but they are alone so if they put you in a third party do know that they got the short end of the stick because that person ended up not being interested in them wasn't worth their 15 minutes of fucking glory maybe 10 eh, five you never know but it does look like they juggled you and it didn't work out because they got busted they weren't able to keep up with you know who the hell they were talking to what a pity don't you hate it when you accidentally say the wrong name I'm so glad I can say that's never happened to me. So paradise, looking good. All right, let's get the dope ass empress out. Let's see what we can get for you guys. All right, bottom of the deck. You know what's a trip? No one can be you. Period. I agree with that. Stop what you're doing. Go water your fucking amazing plants while you're at it. Go chug some water yourself. You're looking thirsty as hell says. Get some coffee. Get some coffee. Get some hyper action in your energy. Get some coffee and, you know, tap a vein. Pump it in. Get excited. Go out and meet new people. Express outer energy that's positive and see what comes into you. All right, many blessings. Thanks for watching Pisces, my cupcakes, and we will see you next time.